Yes, so Nam the Kano makes another shocking move with younger brother. See his huge plans ahead of Southeast judgment and his freedom in December 15th. All right. Um, Nam the Kano. Uh, he doesn't trust Nigeria. You know, trust Nigeria again at all, and you know, one trust them because of all the yeah, 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 and dirty things we they do for this our country. Um, I don't blame them at all because uh, if you look at the non the nonsense things we they do for this country, you too you go no say uh, Nigeria, no big country. You see. Um, looking at ahead of uh, December fifteenth, Mazi Namdekano, uh, together with his brother, have taken another decision. Should in case anything happen, he should in case they did not release him as promised, he has planned it. This is what is going to happen. Yes. Let's check the content. This is today's news. In preparation for the impending Supreme Court sitting on December 15th, 2023, Nnamdi Kanu, the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, engaged in a significant meeting with his younger brother, Prince Emmanuel Kanu, within the confines of the Department of State Services DSS in Abuja. The meeting holds particularly important as it followed concerns raised by Kano's family regarding the department's alleged non-compliance with court's order, particularly in facilitating Kano's access to approved visitors, including family members. Prince Emmanuel Kano acknowledged a positive shift in the DSS approach, highlighting that, contrary to past practices, his brother was granted access to the complete number of visitors approved by the court, emphasizing need for vigilance. The younger Kano conveyed a message from Nam the Kano, urging Biafran agitators and security agents to exercise caution in the lead up to the Supreme Court's judgment. The advice stems from a potential threat of fifth columnists attempting to orchestrate scenarios that could falsely portray Kano and IPOP as a vigilant group. Retreating Kano and IPOP's commitment to a peaceful restoration of Biafran through non violence. Emmanuel cautioned against associating them with any elements instigating trouble in the Southeast region and Nigerian at large. In his statement to Vanguard, Emmanuel expressed appreciation. For the improved access to his brother, stating, I met with my brother today and I want to commend the DSS for allowing the family full access to him unlike before. Yes, um, to be frank, aside from that, um, Tunubu himself equally needs to be appreciated. You know, one, one good turn deserves another. You understand? And I'm very sure, I'm very, very sure, without any doubt, that Tunubu will fulfill his promise as made. You see, there is a very big difference between Tunubu and Wari. Tunubu is more reasonable, and he understands the benefits his administration will get if now the canoe is released. And besides, he himself According to him, I've released them the can already. Just waiting for the court to satisfy their 
conditions or whatever because what is still keeping them the kind of day is because of that conditions from the court they must they, they just want to satisfy that so that it will not look like a, uh, a a waste or a deceit or something like that you understand uh -huh. all right my people now don't hear the matter as it has been a true word um uh, 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 the 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 DSS Bola Ahmed Tinubu have already made up their mind to let Nam the Kano go go yes and that is it so let's quickly let's quickly without wasting time let's quickly hear from you and let us know what your take and then what's your opinion on what has just been revealed to us through this very channel. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.